The American Bully is a breed that was created for looks and companionship more than anything. The breed now has four classes, Standard, Pocket, Classic, and XL. If I had to pick one myself, it'd be somewhere between Classic and XL, but that's just my taste. Now the XL American Bully should pretty much have the same physical makeup as the Standard Bully, but on a larger frame. Males are usually 21 to 23 inches tall at the withers, and females are between 20 and 22 inches. Keep in mind that the American Bully is still a young breed, and in some cases, a mixed breed. With that being said, I wouldn't be surprised if the standard changes again in the next 10 years as the breed is being refined. Now I've been asked on a number of occasions what my thoughts are on Dark Dynasty Canines Hulk. As far as I know, he's registered as being a pit bull. Do I think he's fully an American Pit Bull Terrier? I would personally say no, but we'll get back to that in a second. Number one, Marlin has built a solid name for himself and what he does. Number two, I don't care how his dogs are registered. He seems to take good care of his stock and that's good enough for me. Number three, he works his dogs. Need I say more? Now as far as Hulk is concerned, if I was to pick a breed standard that suits what he looks like, I would go with the ABKC XL Bully. Now the only thing I'm not really a fan of in the XL Bully game right now is the Merle color becoming so popular. Now let's talk about the American Dog Breeders Association standard for the Working Pit Bulldog. These dogs came from bloodlines that were once registered as American Pit Bull Terriers. In 2015, the decision was made to change the breed name of these particular bloodlines because of their size and questionable heritage. Dogs that came from Eddington's Wannabe A Whopper, Dagger Bloodlines, and a few others would now be registered as Working Pit Bulldogs. They weigh between 75 and 135 pounds at full maturity. These dogs seem to be way more athletic than the XL American Bully in my opinion. They are tall, lean, and long-legged with large bone. To my understanding, they are generally a healthy breed. They are used primarily for weight pulling, but I would imagine they would excel in personal protection or catch work as well. I wouldn't mind getting my hands on one of these, I mean the name says it all. 